Hey guys, Chelsea here from Making Manzanita. Do you want to learn how to plant grass from seed in your backyard? Well, this video is gonna teach you how. You can see here our backyard was in some definite need of renovating. Luckily, we were able to focus on it this year. I was really looking forward to having a lot of grass in the backyard with our kids being four and two. They're definitely getting to the age where all they wanna do is run around and play outside. Um, so we started by renting the skid steer and leveling out everything. We took out that sidewalk that was back there, got all the weeds and all the junk out and got everything nice and level. Then we proceeded by putting in yard stakes around the perimeter of where the grass is going to be and we bought our seed. Now see here, this is dense shade seed. Um, you wanna be sure when you're buying your seed that it's um, gonna work for the area where your grass is planted. And our backyard has a lot of shade, so we bought a specific kind of grass seed for shade. You wanna look at the spreader recommendations, which should be on your bag of seed, and then set your spreader accordingly and get to spreading the seed. And again, it's really important that you prepare the soil for seed before you get started. So just be sure it's tilled properly and any rocks and everything are removed and it's nice and level. And then spread your seed. We used a rotary spreader and you can just adjust the settings on the front there with the dial. Then after you spread the seed, you wanna follow up with fertilizer right afterwards. And you wanna use a fertilizer that is made for new grass seed. And this is really gonna give your grass the extra boost of nutrients that it needs to really take off. Next, you wanna grab a lightweight rake and lightly and consistently drag it behind you as you walk across the area that you just seeded. This is gonna help work in the fertilizer and the grass seed into that top layer of soil. Now going forward, you wanna be sure to keep the grass seed nice and wet for the next few weeks. You may need to set a timer on your sprinklers or in your phone to remind yourself. You wanna keep it wet, but don't drown out the seeds. And then just keep an eye on it and stay off of it for the next few weeks. Um, this includes any dogs, pets, or kids. Don't let anybody walk on it while it's germinating. You can see her over the next few weeks, it, continue, it will continue to grow in and fill in and it gets better and better. This is, I think, about four or five weeks after we set the grass seed. You can see here, there are some spots that need to be filled in a little more, some bare spots. Um, once it's long enough to mow, you can mow it, and then you can start using a little light foot traffic. And for those um, bare spots that didn't quite make it, you can do a process called overseeding, and that's just filling in the um, bare spots with more seed and then giving those kind of another chance to just um, grow and germinate. Now going forward, it's important that you continue to maintain this lawn as your family enjoys it. What we do is every fall before we kind of go into those tough winter months, we use um, an extra round of fertilizer, a turf builder. Um, it's got a winter guard and it's called fall food. So this is kind of what, we, what it uh, um, looks like and you apply it just like you would any other fertilizer and we use this to just give the lawn some extra nutrients as it goes into those tough winter months um, and it'll grow back in the spring thicker and fuller. We planted this grass in our front yard um, a couple years ago using this exact same process. And as you can see here, the lawn is nice and full and lush and we've just continued to maintain it as we showed you in this video. We really hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new and can take these tips and apply them in your backyard. If you liked this video, let us know. Push that like button below, comment, let us know what you learned and be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications.